OK, thank you. I just want to add a few things about that uh, from yesterday. And so I will use the, from the title, Still Running. So I hope that you will say together with me, Still Running. Well, Still Running. OK, let's go. Well, in the beginning of uh, 40 years ago, uh, there was a publication, and it was about DES. It was the official publication. It was published before, and uh, in 75. Uh, uh, and the fifth pub, uh, 46, was the right one. Uh, it was uh, removed in 2005, and... and you go, still running. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, there are many applications today using DES and also using triple DES, but single DES also. OK. Uh, there was a, a lot of uh, publication about that. And uh, Diffy here, the first guess, uh, site within 15 de years, DES will be totally insecure. Maybe it's, it's true, but it's still running, okay? <laughs> uh, and so on. Okay, uh, for the next one, we are speaking about uh, RSA. There was a challenge for one hundred dollars. If it is today, it will be a, a small part of a Bitcoin. Uh, and uh, there was a, a challenge saying it's for 40 quadrillions uh, years. It was written, yes, really. Uh, and the first theorem I have Important publication in cryptography are in August. And why? Because nobody read it. And because, you know, because we are here at crypto in August. It's okay. Uh, theorem two, be careful when you predict something in cryptography. Well, theorem three is from uh, Ron Rivast. Be optimistic, do the impossible. Uh, well, because in fact, uh, Ron Rivers and the other ones wanted to prove that it, uh, RSA was impossible. And they did the success, and it's why we are here today. Uh, okay. And, well, Rushnayer said uh, one day no one can duplicate the confidence that RSA offered after 20 years of cryptanalytic review. I think that we can add 40 today. So, uh, still running. Uh, and uh, <laughs> you can, you, you, to be sure, again, against uh, quantum computing, you can use the, the trick of uh, Dan Bernstein and the other one using very large keys or the other way uh, using the two large prime numbers. Okay, so still running for the, the centuries. Uh, against RSA, there were many attacks, math attacks, algo attacks, uh, temper war, uh, and so on, including the from Paul Kosher, somewhere here. And uh, we are going to the term four from uh, Adi. Crypto will not be broken. It will be bypasses. Yes? OK. Uh, no, a little bit philosophy. Math mathematical is less related to accounting that it is to philosophy is for them. OK, so no, uh, some. Experiment, distributed RSA, online, here. And so I will uh, 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 
I will question uh, the first the air from RSC, Ron Rivers, and the question is easy. What about the future of RSC? So, uh, Ron, if you want to come here, thank you very much. Thank so you, Jacques. Does this work? Hello, hello, hello. Uh, yes, this okay. one is it's, it's working. That's on. That's on. Good. Okay. Thank you, Jacques. That's very kind. To, to, to remember, this is his 40 years since we, we started working on RSA. It was 40 years ago that uh, Steve Boyack brought me the copy of the Diffie Hellman paper and said, "Hey, Ron, you might be interested in this." <laughs> yeah, well, it was a beautiful paper, and it did get me interested. And I was able to get Adi and Len to. to, to work with me on, on this problem. But you asked for predictions, and predictions are hard. That's one of the things I, I, I've learned over the years. Maybe I should stop making predictions. Um, so uh, you know, we, we didn't know when we started. We couldn't predict when we started whether we'd succeed at solving the open problem they laid out or not. We, we came up with a solution that's still around, still running. But uh, you know, who could predict? And, uh, and then there was that 40 quadrillion years. Uh, which I take responsibility for. Uh, Adi and Len had nothing to do with that, I think. Uh, somewhere there was a zero dropped or something. I'm not sure what happened there. But uh, predictions are hard, especially about the future. And the other thing that's really been surprising to me is, is the, uh, who could have predicted the, the growth of this community? I think that this is really wonderful. It's really uh, just a marvelous uh, family of friends and colleagues and, and an organization here too. So at the time, 40 years ago, it didn't exist, but it's really grown and hope it continues for a long, long time. Okay, so, thank so. you. Yep. Uh, same question for Adi. So I'm often thinking about uh, what will happen if RSA uh, is broken tomorrow. Uh, it could be a big disaster for everyone, but especially for us, because <laughs> we will have to return so many prizes that we received over the years. <laughs> But then it occurred to me that there's one way to avoid this calamity, uh, and this is if R, S, and A will be the ones who will break RSA. <laughs> so, okay. so uh, then we'll return the prizes and immediately get new prizes <laughs> instead. And no, there is a, a third one, uh, E, uh, Len Adelman. Normally it will be by Skype, but big surprise, Len is coming. Well, first of all, I predict that, that as far as into the future as I can see, I'll still get to go third after these two guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Actually, I haven't been at a crypto in about 30 years, it seems. Uh, I think you guys have done all right without me. I'm pleased to see that. Uh, as Ron said, you know, it's dangerous to uh, predict. There's the famous line by Yogi Berra that prediction is really hard, especially about the future. Uh, but, uh, you know, as pleasing as it is to see that the RSA public key crypto system has survived for 40 years, on a personal note, it's even more pleasing for me to see that RSNA have survived for 40 <laughs> years. Uh, but to get into prediction, you know, uh, you all know the situation with uh, quantum. Uh, I can't say this about uh, classical computing. Uh, I haven't seen anything in my entire life that would make me think that factoring can be done in polynomial time uh, on a classical computer. And uh, so uh, I kind of like the current situation, what I expect is that we're going to be left with this situation. This is a prediction that it will eventually, probably a long time from now, be proven that factoring can't be done in polynomial time on a classical computer, and that uh, primality testing, of course, can be done in polynomial time on a classical computer. The AKS algorithm demonstrates that. 
And that on a quantum computer, you know, thanks to Shor's results, we now know that uh, both factoring and primality testing can be done in polynomial time. And uh, I think that's a wonderful arrangement of things. Uh, it brings together three of the f my favorite things in the world. It brings together computation, number theory, and the laws of nature. It brings them together in a very beautiful way, and I expect that'll persist no matter what happens to actual cryptography. Thank you very much. <laughs>